So long-term raw vegan success is not about discipline, willpower, or strictness. Those things can be awesome short-term strategies. They can help you to get through some tough times. If I'm walking along the street and I'm going, I smell Subway, I want Subway, I want Subway, and then I go into a Subway restaurant and buy a sub, a veggie sub or something, I can use discipline, willpower, and strictness to, to, to get through that and just go, but if I still really keep wanting that and I'm in my head about it, eventually I'm going to be in a weak position and I'm, I'm going to find myself in that restaurant eating something I don't want to eat. That's going to eat away my integrity, my self-worth, my dignity. I'm not going to feel good about myself. Um, and it's not developing a good relationship with food and it's certainly not developing a good relationship with myself. So you can use um, short-term tactics like distracting yourself from situations like that, like um, just count to 100 as you walk past a store, that you don't, a, a restaurant that you don't want to go into, or, um, or just, just sometimes just looking at the sky, looking at nature, taking a walk through the woods. But the windows of vulnerability where we do something we don't really want to do, whether it's about food or something else, they're often very, like they're, they're almost always very short windows um, of vulnerability where it's just like, um, if you just, just distract yourself for like one minute, you're through it. And then you're like, and then you feel good because I just, I made it, I got through it. I chose to distract myself from that situation and then you're in a better place. Um, but that sort of strategy, eventually you have to come to a place where you're doing what you are doing, where you're choosing what you're choosing in life because that's what you truly value. You can't, otherwise it's not going to work long term. So for, you know, so that's why these people kind of up and down for, the, for a number of years because they're figuring out all these things um, and finding, trying to understand their values, understand their beliefs and come to a place where their, their actions align with, with that value system that they understand. Sort of like how I've come to a point where I don't see non-vegan or non-raw things as food anymore. I just, I just, I just have no interest. Like I can be, it doesn't matter how hungry I am. I'm sure there's situations if I was up in the Himalayas trekking and I was stuck up there for months, there's not going to be much fresh food up there and I'd probably eat grains or something. I don't know. I'm not going to die a martyr, but, um, but certainly my preference is for eating what I see as health foods, which is raw fruits and vegetables, low fat, like Doug says, whole fresh, ripe, raw, organic plants, one food at a time when hungry till full is an ideal. But it doesn't have to be that crazy. But most of us do, as you're hearing, do develop a preference for really simple eating. We love to just sit down and eat donut peaches or, or whatever it is. <laughs>